So I just got the Huracan. I am freaking <laughs> unbelievably excited. This is about as close to uh, a perfect car as it gets. Of course, I'm going to make a hate about video. I'm thinking of little things all the time uh, that bug me no matter how minute, but God damn is this an incredible vehicle. So I'm going to show uh, kind of my first reactions experiencing this car. It is uh, a crazy, crazy experience for the senses. So I found out some really cool stuff. I'm going to show you real quick and then I'm going to do a launch control because what better way to uh, start out with my reactions of this car than doing launch control and zero to 60 and according to car and driver two and a half seconds and after doing it I believe it. I'm going to set the car to uh, Corsa mode because well why not? One thing I figured out recently is the different screens. So this is way cool once we uh, get it to focus here. One thing I figured out is the different screens. So this is kind of the normal screen. Then we've got uh, a full display where you can't see anything important. And then this is my favorite screen where you just get a huge tack and uh, a little speedo. So we're gonna use that. Now to activate launch control, we put it in Corsa, turn ESC off, no ESC. Uh, and then we're gonna be good to go. Got the left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas, revs it up to 4,000, then it drops it, bam, straight forward. And you don't actually have to shift. Check it out. It's, <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, this car is so fast. There really aren't too many other vehicles that can launch quite like that. I mean, zero to 60 times that match that. A Porsche 918 Spider, a Veyron, I'm sure the new Chiron. Uh, I guess pretty much all three uh, hypercars, P1, LaFerrari, but holy shit, other than that, unbelievable. One of my favorite parts so far about the car is the gearbox and the steering. They are absolutely perfect. Now, Lamborghini had a single clutch uh, e-gear transmission for the Gallardo, uh, and it was also single clutch for the Aventador as well. The Aventador, they did it for weight savings reasons, and they still got really fast shift times, but the drivability uh, from a daily driving perspective and from a racetrack perspective, uh, wasn't quite as good as it could have been with the double clutch. However, it was awesome getting slammed back into the seat uh, from a pure drama perspective. That's what Lamborghini is all about. Brings me to a point, Lamborghini has kind of always been about a really showy looking car, a crazy looking car that sounds incredible. Uh, this is from a pure, uh, I'd say, auto journalist standpoint that they look incredible, they sound incredible, but they don't drive the way their price and looks suggest. Ferrari and McLaren were the, the driver's cars and Porsche, but they totally changed the game with the Huracan. The steering is absolutely phenomenal. It's incredibly precise and you really don't get any of that uh, classic understeer until you're going so fast around a turn it's nuts and you punch it give it a little bit more gas and the rear end can slide around uh, not quite as much like the uh, lp580-2 but damn something that's really really impressed me so far is actually and this sounds counterintuitive i don't use it very often but the automatic mode this is something that you would never ever use in a gallardo or an aventador because it was one horrible on the single clutch transmission you'd burn out the clutch and two clunky and terrible this is one of the smartest automatic transmissions i've ever experienced so you can't activate automatic when you're in corsa but we're going to put it back into sport click the manual button again and then you're in automatic what i like the most about it is how when you're in sport mode how intelligent it is it knows when you're driving sporty and it's able to predict what you want to do sometimes better than you can which is 
pretty freaking nuts. So watch, we're gonna floor it. And then when you uh, slam on the brakes, it downshifts for you. The 458 Italia does that, which is a really, really cool feature. But if you're just on a back road or something, or even on the racetrack and you're not a pro driver, I guarantee you're probably going to have a faster lap time in automatic mode. I'm not going to do that, but it is a cool benefit. The Huracan really does everything you ask it to and want it to. When I drove it in Italy, I kind of described it as an extension of your brain onto the road. You just think about what you want to do and this car does it. Whether it's small steering inputs or the throttle, it, it's unbelievable the responsiveness of this car. It honestly feels more like it was made by a different manufacturer than Lamborghini. It's so unlike most of their cars, all of their cars, that it feels a hundred years in the future from the Gallardo and, and from the Aventador. I hear the Aventador SV is, is much closer. It's more nimble. It's lighter, of course, uh, and obviously unbelievable lap time on the Nürburgring. But it does definitely speak volumes. I've been watching a lot of reviews after uh, up, leading up to purchasing this car and after and very, very well-regarded race car drivers like Randy Post from Motor Trend have said that this car drives better than any Ferrari they've ever experienced. And when you think about pure driving experience, uh, regardless of what you think about the politics of the company, Ferrari makes incredible cars, incredible cars, very, very, very sharp handling. Uh, and to say Randy Post said that this drives better than any of them he's ever driven is... That's crazy. And at the time that they uh, drove this Huracan around their test track at Willow Springs, the only faster car was the Porsche 918 Spyder. Now, obviously, that's a faster car. It's not even in the same league uh, price-wise. Curious how the Centenario compares, or Centenario, however you say it. Another one of my favorite parts about this car is the exhaust. The crackles on Overrun are incredible. So let's shift it into first. <laughs> Do you hear that? That is unbelievable. It's almost to the point where it's excessive. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of uh, the Jaguar F-Type in the sense, uh, in the crackles. But man, it's a more high-pitched noise than the Gallardo. Uh, and it's also got those crackles. Whew. Around town drivability is incredible. I'm gonna put the windows up for a minute. Uh, I've been very impressed with how this thing handles around town. Uh, the turning radius, massive, massive improvement from the previous generation car. It, the grip in this thing is nuts. And just the responsiveness of the transmission for upshifts and downshifts. You <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. That was a double downshift. Then come into a turn. Holy shit. All right, I'm gonna switch the camera to a point of view drive, film some point of view, because this car is too cool not to.